You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome back to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of NACA. Today's segment is one that I'm very passionate about. Thank you to the Registered Guard of Eugene, Oregon for originally publishing this story. I want y'all to consider this. According to the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, suicide is the second leading cause of death for ages 10 to 24 years of age. More teenagers and young adults die from suicide than from cancer, heart disease, AIDS, birth defects, strokes, pneumonia, influenza, and chronic lung disease combined. Each day in our nation, there are an average of 3,069 attempts by young people grades 9 to 12. The suicide rate among youth ages 10 to 24 has had a 56% increase in less than two decades. Four out of five teens who attempt suicide have given clear warning signs. Enter Annetta Mabe, CNA. Annetta was 24 years old when her best friend committed suicide. Annetta had talked to the woman just the week before and was aware of her recent depression, but she never suspected that she would end her life. When they spoke, the friend asked if they could get together the next week. But Annetta declined because she had a sick child at home and suggested that they meet a week later. Then her friend was gone. Sadness filled Annetta, as did questions about what more she could have done. Guilt still lingers with Annetta. Because of this, she is devoted to working with at-risk youths. She makes a special effort to connect and listen as a certified nursing assistant in the pediatric unit at Peace Health Sacred Heart Medical Center at River Bend. In her work, she finds herself on the front lines with at-risk youth, some who have attempted suicide. Annetta went through training to learn how to be a better resource for other young patients. She and some peers helped with the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention's Out of the Darkness fundraiser in Eugene. They staffed a suicide prevention booth at the Safe Kids West Oregon Wellness Fair, and they began inviting Lane County's Suicide Prevention Coordinator to staff meetings at the hospital. Annetta also sparked efforts to make her unit more comforting for suicide patients who were traditionally placed in barren rooms stripped of anything that could be potentially dangerous. The rooms looked very dreary when they arrived, she says. They just didn't seem right to me. I asked why our suicidal patients cannot have decorated pillowcases and a stuffed animal like the rest of our patients. Her request soon prompted a policy change. Now when these patients arrive, she says, they at least have something soft and cuddly waiting for them on their bed, along with a bright and cheery pillowcase. The patients also receive a journal and a bendable pencil so they can express their feelings and they receive regular visits by a Peace Health child life expert. And as for Annetta's interactions with the patients, she says, I just want to be someone who is willing to listen to them. I want them to know I'm not going to judge them. I want them to know I'm on their side. It's okay to not be okay. Help is available. Speak with a counselor today. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is 1-800-273-8255. Annetta, because you have taken on an important and critical issue with such passion, advocating for those children who need help, you are a true hero. Everyone, please join me in honoring Annetta Mabe, 
See you in a hero.